Hey, I'm Ty, and you're watching the final video in our DJI Spark tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use Tapfly and its new Tapfly sub mode called Coordinate Mode. In Coordinate Mode, just decide where you want to fly, tap the point on the screen, and Spark will fly to that spot. Pretty simple, right? When the aircraft is set to P mode, tap the Intelligent Flight Mode icon on the left, then select Tapfly. Tapfly will be set to Coordinate by default. If you want to fly in a given direction rather than to a particular location, switch to Direction Mode. Tap the second icon from the bottom on the left to switch between Coordinate and Direction. In either sub-mode, you can stop flight at any time by pressing the red X on screen. First, let's take a look at how to fly in Coordinate Mode. Tap the point to which you'd like to fly. Tap the Go icon when you're ready and Spark will begin flying. As Spark flies to the location you tapped, you can tap a new location to change its destination mid-flight. Drag up or down to adjust gimbal pitch or enable gimbal pitch tracking to control the gimbal by moving your phone. But remember, gimbal pitch tracking isn't available when flying with an RC. A prompt will appear on screen to let you know when you've reached the target destination. Tap the direction in which you'd like to fly, then tap Go when you're ready to start. As Spark flies, you can adjust its heading. Just tap on screen and drag your finger left or right. If you're flying with a remote controller, you can also move the control sticks left or right. Just bear in mind that Spark can only sense and avoid an obstacle in its path when the head is facing toward the obstacle. Adjust heading only when you're certain there are no obstacles in your flight path. Well, that's everything you need to know about Tapfly. Now get out there and capture some smooth spark shots with just a few taps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.